Unit QCF 642 Conforming to Productive Working Practices in the Workplace This video will help you to understand the knowledge questions related to this NVQ unit. It's important to remember that when answering the questions, you use examples from what you do in your workplace. Let's get right into it. Question 1.2 Describe the different methods of communicating with line management, colleagues, and customers. Answer. Line management, how do you communicate with your managers? Is it verbal, phone, text, WhatsApp, email? Colleagues, how do you communicate with team members? Do you use verbal, daily briefs, phone, text, WhatsApp, email? Customers, how do you communicate with the client? Do you use verbal, meetings, on site walks, when they come to check work? Question 1.3 Describe how to use different methods of communication to ensure that the work carried out is productive. Answer How do you use different methods of communication? Make this personal. Do you have pre start talks? Do you use hand signals for guiding machinery? Do you have a WhatsApp group, near miss cards, etc.? Question 2.3 Describe how organizational procedures are applied to ensure work is planned and carried out productively, in relation to Using resources for own and others' work requirements. Allocating appropriate work to employees. Organizing the work sequence. Reducing carbon emissions. Answer, how is the material, tools for your job organized? How do you get materials and tools sorted for the day? Example, pre-use checks on all tools, load van up with what's required, discuss concrete deliveries with supervisor etc. How is the job you do for the day week given to you and how do you know what sequence to do it in? Talk about how you know what work to do and when to do it. Do you have a weekly meeting, a daily brief, discussions with your supervisor? How do you plan to do the job I dotty materials, tools, equipment, method of work? How do you decide which tools and materials you will need? Do you use prior experience? Do you ask the engineer for volumes? Do you read the method statement? How are company policies used to reduce carbon emissions? Answer, what policies are in place to reduce the carbon footprint? Do you segregate waste? Recycle materials. If you need further help with your NVQ assessment, please get in contact. JTW Construction Training. Learn today. Build tomorrow. Question 2.4 Describe how to contribute to zero low carbon work outcomes within the built environment. Answer Speak about what you do to help reduce the carbon footprint. Do you reuse materials? Do you switch off machines when not in use? Do you clean up spills immediately? Question 3.2 Describe how to complete and maintain documentation in accordance with organizational procedures in relation to job cards, worksheets, Material resource lists. Timesheets. Answer. Job cards worksheets, snag list, instructions, talk about any paperwork you fill in, daily briefs, point of works risk assessments etc. Material resource lists. Ordering material. How do you order materials? Do you request them off a manager, radio through? Do you let them know they'll be required in a daily brief? Timesheets. Hours worked. How do you record hours worked? Question 3.3 Explain the reasons for ensuring documentation is completed clearly and within given timescales. Answer Talk about what would happen if your documents were not filled in correctly, try to back it up with an example. Question 4.3 Describe how to maintain good working relationships in relation to individuals, customer and operative, operative and line management own and other occupations. Answer, what do you do on site to keep a good relationship with managers, supervisors, clients etc.? Do you speak politely and respectfully? Keep a tidy workspace, are you open and honest? Do you discuss each other's needs and work around each other? Question 4.4 Describe why it is important to work effectively with line management, colleagues, and customers. Answer, what happens if you do not consider each other's needs and work together? Question 4.5 Describe how working relationships could have an effect on productive working. Answer 
talk about how you arrange work with other trades to get the work done efficiently. Question 4.6 Describe how to apply principles of equality and diversity when communicating and working with others. Answer, talk about equality and diversity treating everyone the same, stamping out racism, sexism, discrimination, etc. Discuss how you apply this in the workplace.